So let's get started. Let me introduce you to Li Shang Fu. He is China's defense minister and he has been missing. He has not been seen in public since the 29th of August. Is Li not well? Is Li under investigation? Has something happened to Li? Well, China's not been telling. And that immediately brought to mind the story of China's foreign minister with whom something very similar had happened just a few weeks and months ago. The only sort of clue that any of us got was this statement from Xi Jinping on the 9th of September where he said, and he stressed on the need for maintaining a, quote, high level of integrity and unity of the armed forces and ensuring the military stays stable and secure. Make of it, of it what you will. And now, it finally turns out and reports her out saying that Li is under investigation and he's being removed from the post. Well, almost a deja vu, isn't it? Like Chin Gang earlier, Li had missed several meetings in the past few weeks, including meetings with defense ministers of Vietnam and Singapore. Was Li under house arrest during this period? Well, the Wall Street Journal claims that Li was actually taken away last week. Where is he now? No one knows. What are the charges against him? No one really knows. No word on any of this. But this is what we can piece together on the situation inside China right now. You heard that. The spokesperson of China's foreign ministry claims she is not aware that Li Shangfu is missing. Quick reminder, Li is China's defense minister. He has not been seen in public since the 29th of August, and China wants you to believe that it is not aware of what's happening. The last time Li was seen, he was wearing a military uniform and addressing the third China-Africa Peace and Security Forum in Beijing. Here's a photo from that event. So what happened to Li once he got down from the stage? China won't tell. Reports claim that China's military is investigating corruption in hardware procurement. Some cases go back to more than five years and involve leaks of military files to help certain companies win bids. Li Shangfu was the head of the equipment department from September 2017 to 2022. Is Li being investigated on this matter? China won't tell. If you follow China, you would know by now that Beijing uses secrecy as a state weapon. Think about it. How long has it been since Qin Gang went missing? He was last seen in public on the 25th of June. When Qin disappeared, he was a foreign minister of China. What did China do about it? It kept quiet and said nothing. The foreign ministry spokesperson tried to mislead people. It said Qin was ill. No one from the Chinese cabinet opened their mouth and then one day, China silently changed its foreign minister. It also tried erasing his mentions from China's official websites. This happened in July. Qin Gang remains missing. In the meantime, three more prominent people in China have gone missing, the defense minister and two senior rocket force commanders. Li Yu Chao was serving as the chief of the PLA rocket force. Liu Guangbin was his deputy. Neither of them has been seen in public in the last 60 days. Once again, China silently replaced the commanders. Time for a quick FYI. The PLA's rocket force was established in 2016. It is the successor to the Second Artillery Corps. What is the rocket force responsible for? China's ballistic and cruise missile, both nuclear and conventional. In other words, the rocket force is the PLA's most sensitive branch and its top commanders have disappeared. No one knows where they are. There is a good chance China is using the same template for Li. Reports in the US media claim that Li is being investigated. He was picked up last week and could possibly be under house arrest. How much of it is true? We may never know. And China's silence will also add fuel to the speculation. And for more of this, we're now being joined by Jennifer Zheng, who's a member of the International Press Association. She's the host of Inconvenient Truths by Jennifer Zheng, which uh, aims at offering 
in unique info about what's happening inside China. Jennifer, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Just wanted to get your sense on what exactly is happening there. Um, people going missing at the highest levels of the Chinese government. It now seems to be becoming the norm. The Chinese foreign minister had gone missing and then now the defense minister went missing. It now turns out he's apparently under investigation of some sort. What's happening? Yeah, actually, I just saw a uh, confirmation information of a former Chinese journalist. So according to his source, uh, he, uh, the Li Shangfu, the defense minister, was actually arrested, already arrested on September uh, 1st. And he had already made a lot of confessions. And following his confession, another eight officials within the uh, equipment development department have already been arrested. Uh, so eight officials arrested on the same day, that was September 8th. So this is a very large scale military purge following what happened to the rocket force already. So you know, there are two possibilities out here. One is that Xi Jinping is insecure about various people in higher levels of uh, echelons of China. And that's what happens. We've seen that earlier in China. We saw that in the Soviet Union, that there are frequent purges of uh, people in positions uh, at the top level because the leader is insecure. But a second possibility is that Xi Jinping and the Chinese government have genuinely found a lot of corruption and the arrests that you're taking, uh, that you're talking about, are happening because people have done something wrong and so therefore they needed to be locked up. Which of the two do you think it is? Uh, I think maybe a combination of both. And uh, there, there could be another possibility, which is their political loyalty or their unwillingness to wage a war, a war against Taiwan and the U.S. Uh, according to a former, uh, I think he's a Navy colonel with, the, with this uh, PLS Navy uh, com command, he said, that actually many uh, generals, military uh, staff inside the PLA, they are unwilling to fight the war for Xi Jinping because they they knew it they they couldn't win the the, the battle. So because of that and. Uh, Xi Jinping was also angry. And another source, a former Chinese uh, Peking University uh, professor, Mr. Yuan Hongbin said, according to his source, actually every military general, uh, especially the command of the army, their secretary were, was assigned by Xi Jinping or the, by the Central Military Commission to actually, uh, you can say, monitor this general. So, uh, uh, whatever they say in private, if it got heard by the secretary, they report it to Xi Jinping. So their political loyalty is also questioned. So I think that the, this, this could be the third reason. So I, I believe it could be the combination of the three at least. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us with that perspective.